Hi, I'm Mr. Jones. I teach biology, AP environmental science, and science and society at Monta Vista. Okay, first question. If you could switch lives with a fictional character for a day, who would it be? Um, uh, let's see. So I think it depends on if I can get away with a loophole for this question. If, if I could get away with a loophole, it would be one of those fictional characters that can like time travel or go through the multiverse, because then I could technically keep going back in time and be there forever, and it wouldn't actually be a day. But if that doesn't count, um, I would be swapped with Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus because I could take some pretty crazy field trips like into the human body and it would be, I mean it'd be a nightmare to get the field trip permission slips, but it would be really, really fun. And second question, if you could visit one historical event in time, what would it be? Probably the moon landing. Could I, if could I be there, like on the moon with them, yeah, then I would definitely do that. Um, because that would just be the only time that people have ever set foot on the moon, and it'd be kind of cool to be there on the moon with uh, the astronauts that set foot on the moon. Third question, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done outside the classroom? Mm, adventurous thing? I'm not the most adventurous person, but probably... I don't know, I, I've done a few like like solo backpacking trips where I just sort of take a backpack and I go for a couple months to a foreign country with no itinerary, no plans, and just sort of make my way around the country um, on a day-to-day -day sort of basis. So that's kind of adventurous. Um, yeah, probably something like that. What's your most memorable trip that you think you've gone on? Um, let's see, I've done... I, th I, I really liked my... Uh, trip to Colombia that was really fun um, I also liked going to um, the like Southeast Asia was fun too like Cambodia Vietnam Thailand um, I don't know they're all fun there's everywhere is fun they're all they're all very different from each other so they're very you know unique in their own ways and have their own like things about them that I really like so it's hard to pick one but those are a couple that I really remember What's the most unexpected skill or talent that you possess? Unexpected skill or talent? Um, like I do jujitsu. I've been doing that for a few years. I don't know if it's unexpected, and I don't know if I'm like that skillful in it. I'm only like at a blue belt level. I've gotten injured a few different times, so I haven't been able to like progress as much as I would have liked. But I started that doing that back in like 2016. Um, so that might be maybe an unexpected skill that I've had. Um, I'm in the middle of an uh, interview right now. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's probably probably that one for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay, and lastly, what's the most memorable classroom experience you've ever had? Hmm. Most memorable classroom experience I've ever had. Or funny, anything like that. Yeah. So the most memorable classroom experience I've ever had would probably be there was a time in this room and we still have like a pest problem in this building and the biggest problem is rats. There rats kind of hang out in the ceilings and the walls and things like that. Um, but there was a day where they decided, one decided to come out into the room and like run across the floor and was just sort of like kind of wreaking havoc by like not leaving and just sort of being around and everyone was getting really upset or like people couldn't concentrate. Um, so I, I became like a rat catcher and I had to like, just kind of lure it into a, uh, like into a corner and eventually catch it. Um, and everyone was watching and it was just sort of like, it was kind of like a whole thing that took, took a while, but I actually ended up catching, catching the rat. And then uh, I brought it, what did I do with it? I brought it, uh, I was gonna let it go, but I wanted to bring it somewhere far away to let it go. <clears throat> so I brought it home in my car. And then on my way home, I stopped to get some Starbucks and I left the bag that it was in, in my car. And when I came back, it had eaten a hole out of the bag and it was gone. And it was somewhere in my car. And I never found it again. So I'm assuming it got out of my car at some point. I left my door open later that night, like just to hope that it would just kind of like leave on its own. I'm assuming it's gone because I don't. I don't think it's still in my car years later. It must have been a very memorable experience. It was, it was very funny and very uh, 
it was kind of a everyone was like unsure of like how to get rid of it because it wasn't usually sometimes the the rats will like they'll poke out and then they'll go back but this case it just wanted to hang out 